About six months ago, I switched from Android to iOS when I bought the iPhone 6. Now, when I posted a video explaining why I switched, a lot of people said that I made the biggest mistake of my life. Well, to all of the strangers out there who have never met me before, uh, you were wrong. My biggest mistake does not include the purchase of a cellular telephone. I don't know how good you think my life was, but I've made bigger mistakes before. And much to your chagrin, the iPhone has kind of just gotten better since I've had it. When I first switched to the iPhone, it was weird. Operating iOS is way different from Android. Like, I was reaching for the back button for the first few months. I had to realize, oh yeah, it's up there now. When I first got the iPhone, I thought all the talk about iOS being so much more fluid than Android was bullshit. It had little lags and hiccups just like every other phone on the market. Now, it wasn't the worst when it came to lag, but I didn't understand why iOS was getting so much praise for its fluidity. As a matter of fact, one of the updates bricked my first iPhone, so I had to go to the Apple store and get this replacement iPhone that had the exact same bugs as the first iPhone until I got an update. I think it was like the 8.2 update. That's when everything became a lot more smoother. I mean, I still had this little keyboard bug where the keyboard wouldn't come down sometimes or sometimes it would just freeze up. But since the most recent update, I haven't even had that problem. I YouTube, I understand why a lot of you guys may think I would regret switching to the iPhone. I mean, there's a lot of things that Android can do that the iPhone can't. But to be honest, I don't give a shit about most of it. Like all the customizations you can make on Android. Now don't get me wrong, it was fun customizing my Android phone with launchers and skins and shit. But since I've gone without it, I realized I don't really care about it. I'm just in my phone a lot less. And that's kind of what the iPhone is. It's just really fucking simple. It does a handful of things just very, very well. I like the camera. It's a boring ass app. But I'd be damned if this isn't the best camera I've ever had. This always takes the picture that I want. Since the iPhone is the ubiquitous smartphone, you can find cheap cases for it everywhere. I found dollar cases at the 99 cent store. Same with these, these screen protectors. Now the phone isn't perfect, of course, like the fingerprint reader needs to be cleaned all the time or sometimes it just won't work. See? I don't know if I have like greasier than average hands, but see, I gotta clean it all the time. I can't use it at the gym. That's kind of annoying. Oh, and the iPhone battery can't hold a candle to my old M8, especially if I'm playing games. But I may have found a solution to that because the iPhone has like a million power case options. Hey, Tim, I'm not saying I'm giving up on Android. I still have my little uh, Nexus 7 right here. I love playing with it. I like both operating systems. Just for right now, I'm going to be rocking with an iPhone for the foreseeable future. There's a lot of things that it does not do that Android does. I'm not going to do any of that, so I don't care. The iPhone 6 is very simple. Yes, you can get into jailbreaking and all that shit. I don't have time for it. People are going to say I'm stupid, that I can't do it. It's really easy to do. I just don't want to do it. This is something that a lot of you guys don't understand. I do different shit with my phone than you do. Shit that you might want to do, that you're like, hey, why? You should get an Android phone so you can do this. Like, I'm not going to do that. You do that with your Android phone. That's why you should buy it. 